Hi guys, Asmo here and today I want to share with you a strategy I'm using to farm a lot of sanctums very very quickly while also making currency with pretty much zero investment. This is also a strategy you can use to get some starting currency. The only thing you're going to need for this is basically your character, some atlas skill points and maps. That's it. You're not even going to need alks, chisels or anything like that. I'm literally running these maps white. As long as you can buy maps or sustain maps. If you want to sustain maps, you can chisel and alk them. But literally, you can run white maps and you're going to be making pretty much the same amount of currency. And uh, by running them white, they're also very safe. You're going to level your character. You're going to run them faster. You're going to run more of them. And the strategy really scales with how fast you can run these maps. So... Number one thing uh, is the maps. The maps that I recommend if you're looking for um, a T16 uh, natural, uh, I would recommend the Toxic Sewer because the boss is easy to kill. Uh, other maps such as um, Graveyard or Grotto, they're a little bit more complicated. There's a little bit more backtracking. With Toxic Sewer, you might have a little bit of backtracking, but it's all gonna be in a very small area where you can very clearly see whether you cleared the entire map or not. Um, and that's why if I'm like uh, horizoning, uh, some of the maps i'm horizoning them into toxic sewer uh, but in terms of like the best map the optimal map for running that that would be probably something like cemetery um atoll uh, you could also run ashen woods uh, you could also run canyon um, you could also run city square those small maps with a boss that is easy to kill that is not uh, that doesn't have any phases you definitely want to like kill boss kill the boss very very quickly clear them up very quickly and get out right you just basically want to spam these map, maps as far as fast as possible and that way you're going to be able to get as many sanctums as possible so what are we doing to make currency while doing that well before this strategy i was running things like expedition things like blight things like harvest these are all very very good currency and i definitely recommend uh, these uh, league mechanics and investing into them on the atlas if you want to make currency however they slow you down a lot and so your sanctum uh, rate or like the rate of generating sanctum really really slows down so i went and scoured the entire atlas for mechanics that i can do very very quickly without stopping that scale of the amount of maps i'm doing and that also are something that uh, is pretty much fitting the market in some way that we're going to be able to make some decent currency and what i found is that the one the number one thing that scales very very well with the amount of maps you're doing is heist so for heist you don't have to be running heist yourself i myself am not really stepping into the rogue harbor this league but i am farming heist contracts and blueprints uh, in terms of this let, let me show you what i'm picking here so if i type heist uh, there are some things that we are not not picking so i'm basically not gonna tell you hey pick everything heist related because that's not true so let's go over them we're picking here a uh, chance for smuggler's cash so everything that gives you chance for smuggler's cash is very very good because of course there is no heist on the map device um, and there is no essence on the map device which is the other thing that we're running right that's why these things are more valuable because people cannot just spam this from the map device and get it very easily so harder access means less supply means the price is higher so if we can generate somehow a lot of it we're going to be making more currency so as much chance for the smuggler's cash as we possibly can so we're picking this whole wheel uh, we are picking also this then we're getting hack so hack gives you attack speed cast speed move speed basically like a giga onslaught so the moment you open um, the smuggler's cash you're going to actually be faster you're going to be doing more damage and it's really not nice it's going to speed up your mapping even more so we definitely are picking that um, afterwards we're going or to path this way uh, increased quantity of highest contracts this is not really going to do that much because we have very low uh, quantity of items we're not rolling our maps but we do need to pick the finer arts this is going to make it so that 100 uh, more like we're 100 more likely to get agility deception or engineering which means we gonna get uh, many more deception contracts which, which go for like 10 kales each and uh, as you can see i got like if i uh, type uh, deception here we go in here you can see we got a bunch of deception contracts bunch of deception contracts so we're farming uh, a lot of these very very quickly uh, this is all like farmed today um, 
another uh, another way we're pathing is here and we're going to casing the joint and no honor among thieves so uh, casing the joint basically is the old one the old notable that was already on the atlas uh, tree before smugglers caches and your maps have 100 increased chance to drop blueprints so we're gonna get more blueprints and we're gonna get some fully revealed blueprints and you can see basically you get the fully revealed blueprints look like this you get all of the wings revealed all of the escape routes reward rooms and all of that is revealed and these are worth much more these are sometimes worth like a divine depending on the uh, blueprint especially if you get like the gems gems are very very valuable so we're getting a bunch of uh, these we're also getting the coins um, other than that we're picking the no honor among thieves this basically is gonna make uh, your maps five percent of the time which is gonna be pretty frequently because you're gonna be spamming maps very very quickly you're gonna get six additional smugglers caches and every single time you open one the next one has higher chance to contain blueprints and has a more rogue markers so you're gonna be just ramping up and getting more rogue markers more more blueprints and it's gonna be like a jackpot map that you're gonna hit basically every 20 maps and it adds up it's very very nice i've had it a few times but it's very easy to recognize when you're getting multiple smugglers caches and you just keep picking them up uh, we don't pick this one this one is highest contracts are more likely to target high value precious you could pick it if you had spare points but uh, honestly not that many people look for the precious contracts some people do but uh, but this is not as important some of them are gonna like overlap with the deception and it's gonna be harder for you to sell we're looking for easy to sell quick mass production of things that are in high demand so speaking of a uh, high production of things that are in high demand and expensive and it's hard for people to get them essences essences are the number two thing that we're doing so the problem with essences right now is that number one there is no essence on the map device right uh, but then secondly, essences are very inefficient if you're running them normally. If you're running a strategy where you're rolling your maps, essences don't really benefit from you rolling the maps. Uh, you make them much harder, which is bad because they take longer. So it's, you're basically making them less efficient. If you're rolling your maps, you're actually losing money because you're uh, farming fewer essences per hour. So that's actually really, really bad. So that's why it's another benefit of running them wide. You can very, very easily handle all of the essences, even on a build that isn't super powerful. My build is not very powerful handles ess essences like this super super easily um, another thing is of course it's not on a map device and you could go and farm something like uh, let's see I had some kind of map here uh, yeah area contains three additional essences so there are these implicits and if you are going to purchase maps like this this one is like 30 chaos let's say just a regular t14 3 chaos 10 chaos snipe this one for 3 chaos because this is way more value so the maps with area contains three additional essences if you could somehow amass a lot of them the essence would be super efficient to run but it's not so instead of what we're doing we're just spamming a lot of maps because these uh, essences are gonna be spawning like one or two or three a map depending on how many you proc but the one is guaranteed so it's not that many so it scales with the number of maps that you're running so you want to be running the maps very quickly and we're picking pretty much everything that's relevant so we're picking guaranteed essence we're picking essences uh, have 15 percent chance to contain three additional essences we're picking this whole wheel for a uh, shrieking essence monsters are duplicated and also some remnants of corruption because we're pretty much corrupting everything that has a lot of essences and everything that has the purple essences so misery envy dread and scorn and then we're also picking up the amplified energies for higher tiers so today i started farming essences this is uh, what i've got so far in my tab you're getting a lot of these um delirium uh, horror and insanity and hy hysteria and in this league they're very expensive 30 chaos 24 chaos in bulk of course much more right if you look at something like uh, the essence of greed here that i have 10 of 10 shrieking essence of greed uh, it is three chaos but if you look at a star of 10 uh, suddenly it goes to slightly more for chaos if you have even bigger stack it goes even higher so the higher amount of uh essences you can provide to people uh, you can sell them for a full divine like a bunch of essences for a divine so this is a huge amount of currency that i have here in this tab so that's number two thing we're getting um, by running a lot of maps uh, and killing the bosses this is also very important you're getting a lot of missions so missions are going to be very useful like your alvas and so on i'm personally investing in the jun 
commissions, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. Um, but you're also getting a lot of drops from the bosses, which often include things like guardian maps. So I'm dropping a bunch of guardian maps. I'm dropping a bunch of synthesis maps. So that's an additional thing that you're getting uh, a lot of if you're running like a map with an easy boss that you can just quickly kill without any phases and so on. And the next thing we're running here is some map sustain. So we're running three of the shapings map sustain and um, helps us so far i didn't have to buy any maps i'm just uh, getting my t16 i got like 40 t16s right now plus these uh, i'm definitely gonna run out of them running these maps like this but i'm probably just gonna buy them uh, it's probably faster to buy them instead of uh, rolling them um, and then picking them up i think it's more efficient for this strategy especially because we want to keep the maps easy so we can kill the essences very very quickly basically just one tap them um, the next thing we're doing here is we are blocking every single league mechanic except for the um, heist so we're getting higher chance uh, of this uh, extra content spawning and uh, as you can see uh, we've got uh, what is it ritual altars smugglers caches shrines essences so you can see essences count here right so essences are being um, boosted by blocking these mechanics um, as well as the smugglers caches are being boosted so we're making uh, sure that we're getting more of them per map uh, and the next thing the third thing i'm investing on in here is the um focused investigation so this is june mission uh covered stakeouts more june missions everything here that gives more june missions uh plus test of loyalty plus the intelligence gathering so the cool thing about this is with intelligence gathering you're going to be gaining intelligence for your safe houses even if you don't have the mission going just by completing a map without the mission even you're getting intelligence for your safe houses which means you're going to be able to run a lot of mastermind uh, fights as you can see i have three safe houses here ready to go before i even uh, before I even have an, any encounter, right? So I'm gonna run these. Each of them is gonna give me 30. So that's gonna be 30, 30, 30. That's gonna be uh, 90. So I'm gonna be almost at a mastermind fight. Then I'm just gonna have to run one safe house and I'm gonna have mastermind fight. I don't worry too much about putting members into specific houses. Of course, I uh, try to optimize them whenever I have the option, but I don't like run extra mission to try to like uh, place them into specific slots. I just put good scarabs uh, for good scarabs. I upgrade them to rank three. Uh, if I can put Ashling in research, if I can put Hillock somewhere, I put them and get them rank three and that's it. I'm gonna post a screenshot of uh, example rewards from a mastermind fight which by the way is a pretty easy fight most characters can handle it uh, even if you don't have a huge amount of dps it's a pretty important fight to learn and, and pretty rewarding and you're getting tons of scarabs you're getting tons of other currencies diff cards unveils you're getting the uniques uh, and you're getting a chance for the devouring diadem i dropped two devouring diadems this league one of them sold for it was like four divines one of them sold for like two and a half divines today um, so you're getting them pretty frequently you're getting the flasks uh, uh, tons of stuff you're getting the cane of Colomac, which also sells some people um, are using it uh, so there is tons and tons of rewards you're getting tons of xp as well and if you want to learn how to do betrayal i'm gonna link in the description a guide for the betrayal i'm gonna link two things right you can uh, check out the guide for the betrayal and then i'm also gonna link uh, a guide for the sanctum right because this is like a sanctum spamming strategy don't forget that right that's the main thing so already we're running so many maps so quickly getting all of this stuff and and we're generating lots of currency and we're pretty much investing nothing we're also running stream of consciousness uh, because again we're not going to be running any fragments we're not going to be running any scarabs we're not running any sextants even though i got all the uh, watchstones we're not running sextants uh, basically this is just making the maps as quick and as easy as possible and the stream of consciousness is just boosting the base chance for extra content so like the base chance that is like 10 percent or something like that is becoming like 50 per 15 percent instead right uh, for the mechanics so basically it's like plus five percent uh, to get uh, the essences and the smuggler's cache as well in your maps um, so that's basically it that's the strategy um, i pretty much explained where the profits come from while talking about it because this is very simple right you're just getting the essences you're getting some uh, other drops um, when it comes to the at uh, to the altars this is 
a personal choice. Um, I'm running currently Eater of Worlds. I'm not investing anything because th this point here um, is basically 10% for the progress. It's not much, it's like a fraction of a chaos per map. It doesn't really matter. Um, uh, basically, you can just run it. If you see something good on it, you can click it. Otherwise, you can just skip it. Um, basically, if I see like a uh, polished legion scarab or if i would see the divine one the fabled divine uh, altar then i would click it but most of the time i skip it i don't care if about like dropping three scouring orbs or two regret orbs or seven alteration orbs this is absolutely irrelevant currency so most of the time it's actually a waste of time to click the altars in this strategy because we're not scaling pack size we're not scaling qu scaling quantity so these monsters are going to be hardly dropping anything but the main reason why i'm running this is just so i can every 20 something maps or whatever i can get the invitation right so we're getting the invitations and the invitations right now cost uh, what is it like 0 0.6 divine like 115 chaos something like that so you're gonna get these invitations uh, every so often and it's gonna boost your profits as well kind of a waste not to run it but i don't pay too much attention uh, to these altars because they're honestly not that rewarding if you compare them to essences just jumping into another map like you have monsters that have like um four essences let's say on average and then it's gonna duplicate so that's like eight and then one of them is worth two chaos and so you have like 16 chaos from an essence you're not gonna get that from the clicking the altars most of the time in these maps uh, so that's why i pretty much uh, don't worry about it um, in terms of the map device we're just running again the, the basic option we're not picking anything here there's nothing here that would particularly help you you could run domination but it's honestly just a waste of money you want to run the map as quickly as possible uh, and limit the risk of dying just just be as fast as possible so i definitely recommend having a character that can either uh, shield charge quickly um, and uh, or, or like uh, whirling blades or do something like that or just like a fast character in general i'm running a uh, haste if you're gonna be running sanctums i definitely recommend running haste aura it's uh, such a powerful aura it's so much movement speed attack speed cast speed so it benefits pretty much any character uh, because movement speed is just super super valuable so if you have uh, space for that if it does benefit your build offensively even if you're losing like three percent damage compared to another aura i would definitely recommend running haste it's super powerful this league especially with the sanctum league mechanic so that's it hopefully um hopefully this is uh, educational i'm gonna leave the link to uh, the atlas planner for this skill tree in the description as well thank you so much for watching and see you next time Bye bye